Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the World Government House of King David, Holy Covenant Constitutional Enforcer. This is the Republic Notice. The title of this Republic Notice is called White Races Now Attacking Oprah for So-Called Playing the Race Card. White Races Attacking Oprah for So-Called Playing the Race Card. You know, this backlash now is coming about against Oprah Winfrey because she spoke on the disrespect of President Obama and how he is being disrespected because he's black and that old racists need to die off. Now, since she said this, this is it has been a backlash and, um, you know, the the defense of whites is to automatically call blacks racist. Anytime a black American defend their hundred years of all white senates, their hundred years of all white governors, their hundred years of the birth of a new nation where they follow Woodrow Wilson on his white horse in his Klan outfit to birth a new nation, a debtor white majority, uh, trampling the Constitution, no citizens, blood of the Constitution, and making sure they don't hold office in the country they built, making sure they're not governors in the country they built, making sure that they have nothing but the marginalization in the country they built. Then when blacks verbalize this in any way, shape, or form, they automatically are accused of playing the race card. Now, do blacks play the race card? Unfortunately, they do. Unfortunately, they do. Now, there's nothing wrong with telling the truth. But when you're not pushing forth the race deck, then you're marginalizing yourself. See, blacks have done themselves a disservice playing the race card instead of playing the race deck like whites do. Whites play the race deck. Blacks only play the marginalization of the cards when they quirp out one time and don't come together in unity for their constitutionality. See, we need to be putting forth the constitutional deck because the Constitution is stacked against anyone who tramples it. And black Americans is the only citizens in that Constitution. So we have been doing ourselves a disservice playing the race card by, because we haven't held on to the deck of the constitutionality that has blacks as the only national citizens. So when we don't assert our constitutionality, then we wind up getting playing games in their dung putty. See, their dung putty, and then once we start playing with them in their dung putty, they start accusing us of being racist after a hundred years of all white senates. That's so acceptable and normal to them as if, you know, all white senates is, uh, is, is, is not practicing racism. As if all white governors is not practicing racism. As in all white everything is not practicing racism. And then soon as you assert something, they accuse you of racism because we haven't as a people played a constitutional deck. Our constitutional deck. Okay, our Fort Knox constitutional deck. And when we fail to play our constitutional deck, then we play in their little dung games. We call the dung games that we play, play with them in. And meanwhile, they the only ones getting a raw source. They the only one getting a racist on their nose. They get a racist on their nose and a racist on their cheek, a racist on their neck, racist on their legs, racist on their arms. They got racists all over the place. They call melanoma. But yet they accuse black Americans of being the racist when the evidentiary is their melanoma bill that they got to go keep getting racist or raw sores taken off of their body. And got to have the best insurance to get these rhinosaurs taken off their body. Because rhinosaurs come on their body every year and every summer. Okay? They get rhinosaurs because they are the racists and the racists. They try to fight the DNA of the sun. 
They try to fight the DNA of the sun and they may win battles against black Americans and blacks on this planet, but they will never win the war because blacks are the people from the King Yahshua, King Yahshua hierarchy and royal blood, which means they are the resurrected. Okay. The resurrected. You've been trying to uh, 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 do away with them since time and memorial okay see so said he talk about if it's a war you know uh wh blacks will be slaughtered or some of this old nonsense no you may win some battles you all have you always had your hands at some battles but the bottom line is those that is last shall be first and those that are first shall be last okay so in between there you may get your little hands in some battles and forget about it being a a, 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 a a civil war in this country because in the civil war of the 1800s ending in this ending in 1865, they didn't have the weaponry they have now. OK, see, you can pull out all the guns you got as white folks, but uh, this weaponry now is uh, will take you out, will take you out. So it's you got to have more than just some little gun on your hip or, or rifle on your shoulder to fight what's coming down now. This is the cosmic battle. This is Armageddon. OK, so do you anybody talking about civil war is naive in MK and MK Ultra because this is not going to be no civil war like it was in the 1800s. This is Armageddon. This is the cosmic go down, go down. OK, OK, white racist. So you are attacking. Oprah Winfrey and accusing her of racism after you done stepped on her constitutionality ever since she was declared a citizen in it in the legal supremacy of the Constitution is not going to fly. You know, you can tell, you can say uh, the race card is up. Well, we don't need the race card, white folks, because King Yahshua and his 144,000 is coming for his people. It's coming for his people, okay? And if you against his people, you're damned. You're damned. And his people are people who look like Oprah and was born in America and is constitutionalized as the Judaic nation in 1866, the national constitutional citizen. That's King Yahshua people. How in the heck you think black Americans will be in the highest contract in the land unless it was by the hand of God Almighty and King Yeshua? So you calling us racist is the same as you calling King Yahshua racist while you fighting his people. And you say Jesus loved the little children, all the little children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, they're precious in his sight. Why would you think he wouldn't love the black ones? He's constitutionalized as all persons born, born from the black Judah woman and the black Judah man. Why you think he wouldn't love them? And don't say you don't think he was black because he had to be hidden in Egypt and he couldn't have been hid in Egypt if he was a white baby. OK, because Egypt was full of people of color. And you can't hide no white baby from no king that's trying to destroy the royal seed and, 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 and is feverish about destroying the royal seed. You cannot hide no white baby among black and people of color and carbon colored people. Get real. So if Jesus loved the little children, all little children of the world, what makes you think he won't love the black Judah baby? And the evidence of us being Judah is the fact that we came out of slavery and we're the only constitutional citizens in that constitution. And it can't be undone. It's Fort Knox. Yeah, they can trample it. Dogs can trample. Dogs can trample your property. That don't mean the dogs own your property, okay? Dogs can trample a deed. That don't mean they change the deed, own the deed, or the deed don't exist somewhere else, okay? So I'm saying this. If blacks play the race card, it's because they playing the weakest hand they got. They should have been playing the constitutional card. And they did you whites a disservice by playing the race card. Because you done got strong in delusion by them playing a the little lousy race card instead of playing their constitutional deck.
It'll, it'll set you up for the slaughter, white folks. You going to wish black paid that constitutional card? You going to wish black paid that deck? Because the bankers and everybody and anybody else, and guess what? These demons are coming, are coming. Now you pull out your little guns and you pull out anything you got and you see how they uh, mesh up against spirits. Okay, you see how they mess up against this high tech weaponry. And if you think you're going to just win some kind of civil war, that shows you how delusional you is. You don't you know we're years and years and years and years past the just guns being a part of this. This is Armageddon. This is Armageddon. You know, you you're in delusion. And Oprah have a right to say what she said. She should have said a lot more because you wasn't calling her racist when she was handing out cards and had an all white audience and pumping up Dr. Oz and pumping up these doctors and Susie Ormans and all these whites who sold books on her shows. She wasn't be called racist then when she wasn't pumping up the blacks. Why didn't you call her racist when she wasn't pumping up the blacks when she was just pumping up whites for her show? How selective, how selective your strong delusional imagination is. And so in your uh, delusional imagination, you think just by pointing out what blacks do to blacks, blacks do to blacks will solve all your problems. Don't try to act like rapes don't occur among whites. Don't try to act like whites don't murder their parents. Don't try to act like whites don't murder each other, you know, and use that as an excuse. Oh, you talking about whites, but you was raped over three times by some black man. So what? While that's not a good thing, don't act like it don't occur in other races. You act like white men don't rape their daughters and don't rape their nieces and uncles don't rape their This rape and this incest goes on. And, it, and, and, and whites, the males tend to rape their male sons more often, okay? So don't even come like that. Like, we don't have a right to point out your 400 years of rape. See, the mistake blacks make is they only talk about what they do to each other. And see, they, lo they lose themselves when they don't talk about the 400 years of rape that whites did to them and how whites continue to rape their wealth even when it was constitutionalized and they have become citizens. How they wanted all white senators, all white governors to continue to rape, to continue to pillage, to continue to try to treat blacks as if they wasn't in the highest contract of the land, which means that they warred against the republic. So don't start talking about the republic. You warred against the republic. The republic don't know you, just like King Jesus won't know you. And you remember this before you get too gung-ho, too gung-ho and cocky talking about, you know, a civil war. You remember this one thing. The Revolutionary War was won with blacks and the Civil War was won with blacks. Okay? So don't think that just because you got a gun that you is all she wrote because remember we got higher we got a higher entity helping us too okay we got cosmic we got cosmic power behind us too okay you didn't win the revolutionary war when you wanted to keep blacks in slavery you didn't win the civil war when you wanted to keep blacks in slavery so you go ahead and delusion yourself because you can f kill a few of us off or you can kill some of us off that you won something because you know you point one gun at us and there's going to be eight and nine pointing at your ass and including high-tech weaponry this is mary omni from the house of king david shalom